What's good, y'all? It's G. So today I am gonna do a reaction video. So this one is the top 21 best video games of each year. This is Vox Mojo. Um, so those y'all who don't know what this channel is, basically what they do is they take typically 10 or 20 things and kind of like rate them from best to worst or worst to best, uh, depending on what the item is. In this case, they're doing video games. I already watched the worst. Um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I didn't agree with about 40% of that list, but. I didn't make the list, so it don't matter what I think. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to react to this and we're going to see what we got. And I'm going to comment as necessary. Let's see. Uh, first of all, let me get rid of this. I'm trying to download another TRLE so I can, because I'm recording it next. And today, we'll be counting okay. down our picks for the top 21 best video games of I'm each get year. Man, if Shadow of the Tomb Raider, not Shadow, uh, what's one before that? If Rise of the Tomb Raider ain't on here. I swear to God, that was my game right there. I should do a gameplay for this, but, uh. We're looking at the most outstanding title to release yeah. every year from I know some of y'all probably about to be mad at me and Let hit the dumb style button, but fuck Minecraft, okay? Game of the 21st century is. 2000, Diablo 2. Never played it. The action RPG I don't look like it's my cup of tea anyhow. Diablo 2 is one of many exceptional offerings from Blizzard over the years. Mm -hmm. The story is outstanding and the visuals more than hold up today. But the okay. best part of the game is by far the gameplay. What is that like a map around a... That movie, his ass. <laughs> You'll quickly get addicted to the randomly generated loot system desperately searching for superior gear to progress through the story okay online there's even more fun to be had if you team up with friends and build a specific party and decades later there's still a healthy community leveling up characters and playing together well i'll be down if any rpgs that came after diablo 2 have been able to match it okay go to the next game what, what came out 2001 2001 Halo Combat Evolved. Halo? Halo? I ain't gonna stunt. I played this a little bit back in the day, but. First person I think I was too young to understand it, you know what I mean? With giant franchises like Doom and Wolfenstein. But mm -hmm. in 2001, Bungie made a name for themselves by launching one of the most iconic shooters of all time. Halo was a launch title for the brand new Xbox after Microsoft bought the studio, and it was mm -hmm. certainly a system seller. Of course. I don't know about now, though. Oh, shit. The game pioneered that was what the he got shot. should be in the 21st century, and years later, many AAA titles are still living in Halo's shadow, aiming mm -hmm. for its lofty heights. It remains one of the best launch titles for any new console, and subsequent releases are still major fixtures in the esports. I guess. Scene. Like I remember this, but I don't remember it that much. You know what I mean? Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Okay. Yeah, yeah what up? Well, I got the chalkboard. One of my friends was here. He had been a shit uh, on himself because he loved that game. Law school oh. education. You shit, that's the only game he ever talked about. After the roaring success of GTA 3, people already had high expectations for the second 3D Grand Theft Auto, and Rockstar didn't disappoint. In 2002, we traveled to Vice City in the 1980s, a fictionalized mm -hmm. version of Miami for a Scarface-inspired story about narcotics and the mafia. Vice oh, City Lord. set the standard for sprawling open worlds, beautiful graphics, and biting satire, as we followed the life and times of Tommy Versetti. <laughs> Whoa, what were you waving at thing? No more right. pigeon shit on my car, eh, hey, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> You're damn right. Ever since, people have been baying for Rockstar to return to Vice City as a setting, just like we've had grand returns for Liberty City and San Andreas, thanks to how beloved this defining game is. Not only that, if they remastered this game, I think that would be a good idea. Got the God damn! Vice City is mine now, not his! If they remastered this game, like I was said, I think this would be... A good uh, seller. 2003, Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. I gotta disagree with that one. I mean, I don't have a better answer either, though. But the prequel trilogy was still unfolding. Hmm. Lucas Arts was still making video games, and I think we came out 2003. New IP. 
The result was nice. That's when the first Prince of Persia came out, when not the first, but the first reboot. That let players decide whether they wanted to pledge themselves to the light or succumb to the dark. As you wish, Master. It will not be the first time I have been punished by Davik. Though it has stiff competition, plenty of people consider KOTOR the greatest Star Wars game of all time. This is because it understands the source material and has a lot of respect for it while blending in the tied and true RPG mechanics Bioware. I mean, it do look good for a There's game no that came out 2003. Times you can defeat Darth Malak and still enjoy yourself. Once again, we shall face each other in single 2004. combat. What came out good in 2004? The decide the fate of the galaxy. And then that's the sound of sale, um... 2004, World of Warcraft. Of course. I didn't realize that game was that old. I thought that shit came out like I want to say about probably about ten years ago, 10, 15 years. Well, I guess fifteen. Had a cultural impact felt as far and wide as the one World of Warcraft created upon release. The MMO all other MMOs strive to be. WoW is going strong to this day, with Blizzard still releasing updates and enormous expansion packs to keep the story going. I guess. God, Lord. It permeated pop culture at the time of its release, with WoW Addiction even getting lampooned by South Park in one of the show's best episodes. And if you want to know South exactly Park. how it felt to boot up the game for the first time in 2004, Blizzard... Damn, he shit his pants while he was running? What happened? In 2019. 2005. What came out in 2005? 2005. Resident Evil 4. Mm, okay. God damn! Just shoot the motherfucker. The Resident Evil series was already beginning to stagnate thanks to a huge number of releases over the previous nine years. All the bitches had a crush on that motherfucker. Fresh, Capcom needed to do something bold. No, I forget I said to say that. Was transforming the tank controls and fixed camera angles into an old Where's Bayonetta shooter. at? Shooter. Down smash, down smash. That's all you would have had to do. And then we we punch this bitch off to see. Now he cut. It turned out to be the best decision they ever made, and Resident Evil 4 was born. Following Leon Kennedy as he fights against a zombie outbreak in rural Spain, it may be more action-packed than its predecessors, but it kept the scares Ooh. coming. It's since been ported to a dozen platforms, and rumor has it a big-budget remake is in the works. That would be a good idea. I mean, they already remade it, like, what, one to three? So, I mean, it would only make sense that... Gears of War. Of course. I never played this shit, though, to be honest. Halo may have defined the first person shooter on Xbox, but Gears of War defined third person action games. One of the best games to come to the 360, the first Gears title introduced us to the. Yeah, I know what I got a feeling, though. No, like, car games are going to be on this at all. And GTA don't count. Longevity. GTA does not count. Oh, he's shot. With the best graphics of the day, it said that the reason that Wait, where you in 2006? Ram was to push Seven came out 2007. Full potential, a gamble that certainly paid off. To this day, it's one of the most played games. Somebody the anniversary Xbox that ain't gonna count. <laughs> yeah, I know that ain't gonna make it. Franchise for Microsoft. Maybe if this is like a remake, like a watch watch a remake, you'll probably be on there. 2007, Bioshock. Oh, sorry. It's impossible to understate the impact of Bioshock. Nobody knew okay. what they were in for when they first descended to the underwater city of Rapture, which was as nightmarish as it was beautiful. Players explored not only Rapture's submerged streets, but also the corrupt ideologies of its leaders, from the deranged surgeon Steinman to the city's megalomaniac founder, Andrew Ryan. Mm -hmm. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat... Oh, 2008. Rapture. It came out good in 2008. Uh, TR Underworld came out. But I don't think that's gonna make it either. Injecting yourself with plasmids to get an edge on the marauding splicers. And if all that wasn't good enough, Bioshock executed one of the most famous plot Shit, twists Forza in three? Game, and has since become a prime no, example that came out of why video games I think. are art. No, did it? Forza 3 came out in 2009, because 4 came out in 11. 
Grand Theft Auto 4. Of it's course. Talk, out the door, turn left, and the first left of the diner, go down I one block and turn right on Iroquois. Then walk all the way down, and we're right there on the left on the corner of Cisco Street. It's really flash. We've got lots of titties and some incredible molders. And... Nico, give me a hug. Good to have you here, cousin. The fourth numbered GTA has a slightly darker tone to its wackier siblings, as we return yes. to Liberty City, this time in the shoes of Nico Bellic, an immigrant on his way to the U.S. to start a new life and get revenge on some faces from his past. Mm -hmm. The satire GTA is known for was even less forgiving, and for once in the series, crime doesn't pay. First I hear you uh, running no, with the wrong kind, then I hear you join the merchant navy, now you're here. Oh, uh, they need to clean that kitchen, they need some bleach or something. What do you mean? A paint job. Oh, I never tell you anything. Though it proved a little divisive among Rockstar fans for its difference in tone, the game is definitely stronger for tackling the myth of the American dream so seriously. Mm -hmm. And of course, Liberty City is as fun as it is grimy. I didn't know that Mr. Bogren was here in Liberty City. Wait, this is the same. The no, this ain't the same now. That's why I make it all the noise and they doing shit. Minecraft. Fuck that, okay? And then they put that bullshit on Smash. Release, Minecraft has taken over the world, a fixture in the lineups of gaming streamers and YouTubers alike. Minecraft is a game that anybody can play and fall in love with, from kids just okay, getting into I didn't fall in love to the most hardcore players who want something with endless potential and deep gameplay systems. It is what primarily the fuck? about freedom, and it gives players far more agency than plenty of other titles. Whether you're playing alone or with friends, with a specific goal in mind, or just to kill some time, it's impossible to go wrong jumping into Minecraft whenever you get the urge. This game is so goddamn dumb. I'm sorry. Like, I know I'm probably gonna get a thumbs down. I'm sorry. Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Veto to the Minecraft. Oh, fuck that. Four's a three. What you mean? It's out of town. Is that what Forza Horizon first? No, Forza Horizon, the, the first one came out is widely considered to be one of the best 12, stories I think. in gaming. Provided you yeah, I think it originally dropped on Xbox and the uh, 360. The Bioware sci-fi RPGs is Mass Effect 2. Recently resurrected by the elusive man and his sinister company Cerberus, Shepard mm -hmm. is tasked with taking down Damn, Harbinger, this. a particularly nasty reaper. With faster, tighter combat and opportunities for split-second narrative choices, Mass Effect 2 took everything the first game did well and rolled with it. Now, BioWare knew what they wanted Mass Effect to be, and they delivered an outstanding game. I guess. But can we go on to 2012? Wait, that's where we're going to next, was 11. 2011, The Elder Scrolls Get the fuck out of here, man. No! Again, I'm sorry. That's a game I did not like. I've tried it on multiple systems and I did not like it. I've tried it on PC before I started streaming. I've tried it on PS4. Did not like it. For over a decade, and you don't have a computer because it's available on pretty much everything. Full of long arcing quest lines. Just like what they said. I didn't like the game. I'm sorry. And I tried it on Nintendo Switch just because it was there. Bullshit. Why Skyrim has been a must play from its release through to the present. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry. That's over there making all that bullshit. And if you're tired of the base game after all this time, it's got one of the largest modding communities out there, so go wild. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out. I disagree. And we're that much closer. Was it 2011? 2004. Borderlands 2. I never played that, to be honest. What the fuck? Where off-the-wall chaotic looter shooters are concerned, Borderlands 2 wrote the book and remains a cornerstone of the genre. Upon release, it took everything the first game I mean, it looks fun, but... ten times better, with superior gameplay, a deeper class system, These ain't my type of games, though. This is the reason I don't agree with the levels. I mean, the, graphics. the uh, oh. choices. And if you find any porno mags, I'm just saying if you come across them in a natural accent... And you know, to be honest, for 2005, uh, Nicholas Speedmoss wanted to the one. I think. I'm sorry. Through and never feel bored, which plenty of people surely have since 2012. But just as what was the one that came out after that? Carbon. Humor. Mm. Borderlands 2 has pop culture references in droves, and you can't help but feel satisfied every time you get one. Perfect double rainbow all the way. <laughs> 2013. Fuck around. The Last of Us. 
you won't explain Okay, this. finally something that makes sense. I was on my way back here. And I never played it, but I've seen people play it. All right. Yeah, they got a few good hits in. But... Look, I managed. Naughty Dog has always been on the cutting edge, and that was never truer than when they released The Last of Us, back at the close of the PS3 era. Uh oh Pushing the console's capabilities to a breaking point, it was easily PS3. the most... PS3, I don't even want to hear that shit, that talking about the PS5. And it had a story to match. I'm gonna probably wait a couple okay. months before I get mine. Citizens are required to carry security at all times. Compliance with all city personnel is mandatory. Look at that. Motherfucker, you talking to carry an ID any motherfucking way. Players controlled Joel, a survivor Ooh, he need a bath. 20 years in a zombie apocalypse, as he needs to escort teenager Ellie across the U.S. Players bond with Ellie in real time, just like Joel, and by the game's incredible finale, you'll be left wondering who the true villain is after you wipe the tears from your eyes. The idea here was a sad ass game. 2014, Dragon Age Inquisition. Mm. Again, a game I never played. That's not like the best from uh, what's the game? Uh, Temple of Cyrus, which I have not, I have not forgotten. I need to finish that game. To the plot and themes of the previous two games, miraculously remaining welcoming to players who were new to the series. Twenty fourteen, man out of two. What you mean? The most <laughs> they don't count. I was surprised I didn't say that for two thousand nine. With a large oh. map spanning both Feralden and Orle, there were gorgeous biomes wherever you looked, from the mm -hmm. unforgiving western approach to the green and lush emerald graves. Its rich world was unmatched, she and need all a cheeseburger. your actions felt like they were important in determining Theta's fate. Okay, see, now that's world. me, body same as It is not unlike the Theta. second dispersal of the reclaimed Dales. Nothing. Divinity puts you above such things, I suppose. Shut your motherfucking mouth, motherfucker. Bloodborne. Again, a game I never played. Oop, but there's a mate this too, right? It was time for From Software to do something different. So in 2015, they forwent another high fantasy oh, no, release and went for a totally different aesthetic, Victorian Gothic, with a twist halfway through that revealed the true inspiration as HP. Victorian Lovecraft. Gothic. Mm. 19th century. God damn! But where and you know what? Somebody did ask me to play this game. I'm not playing this shit. ...to remove a key element from every FromSoft game up until then, the shield. Now you had to get up close and personal with your enemies or meet your end. You've got meet to sprint fast, Fuck dodge, it. parry, and you know, even drop. when you get hurt to rally lost health. But what's waiting behind mastering those mechanics is one of the best video games ever made. Bro, I would have been quit. 2016, Overwatch. Shut the fuck up. But I guess, I, and I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I'm not doing no more of these videos for this. They're one of the best developers in the industry when they released the widely popular hero shooter Overwatch in 2016. Bullshit. Since its launch, Overwatch has grown to have an enormous roster of colorful and diverse characters. I mean, it is a nice looking game, but and gimmicks, assuring us that there really is something for everyone. See, it's just too much going on in this game. I can't register all that shit. It exploded onto the esports scene immediately, and thanks to Blizzard's focus on eliminating toxicity, it's definitely one of the more welcome What is it, and sea salt? you can jump into. Overwatch 2 may be on the horizon, but the original is surely going to be around for a long time regardless. Oh! 2017, The Legend of Zelda. That's what the fuck. Wild. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. At launch, it wasn't clear what type of console the Nintendo Switch would be. Would right. it be a return to form or another misstep? No, that was. The first game's release proved that the Look Switch at this was fool. here to stay. He better and get them chinos clean. Since it came out, Breath of the Wild has Damn, smack the shit out of him. Get I hate when he do that. He just roll around on the floor. Bro, this dude don't know how to play. Stunning Let me shut up for you asking story, to play and I'll fuck up too. Breath of the Wild provides players with ultimate freedom of when to do something and how to do something. And if you so desire, you can even go fight the final boss right away. It was this razor-sharp focus on exploration that gave Breath of the Wild its edge, setting a new industry standard. Twenty eighteen, God of War. 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Father, you're almost dead. Boy, shut the fuck up. A lot of heavy hitters in 2018, but God of it really War was an incredible and refreshing reboot of a franchise that seemed to have disappeared. Kratos returned with a vengeance, now transplanted from ancient Greece to Midgard, fighting gods and monsters from the lesser represented Norse pantheon. Now, who do y'all think would hit win? Him or Bayonetta? Uh, I think Bayonetta would get him. It'd be tough, but I think I think she could do it. I think she could pull it off. Though you'll certainly never forget the moment you come face to face with Jormungandr the World Serpent, where God of War really excels is the growing father-son relationship between Kratos and Atreus. Where is his clothes at? Each other and work together throughout the story. And it's got arguably the best graphics seen on the PlayStation 4. Oh. Yeah, I, I concur with Why that. would you? Do not know my ways. Uh, bit something that. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. I tried to stream that one day, but my computer is not powerful enough. <laughs> so it wasn't working. That game was fire though. I did watch other people play it, and I was kind of upset that I never got a chance to play it. But when I built me a PC, an actual PC, I'll do that. switched up the game just as soon as you thought you had them pinned down. Sekiro had a slightly more prominent story than other Souls titles, but even more challenging gameplay. <laughs> You now had to constantly attack to weaken your enemy's posture, and only then could you start to damage them. Set deep in the heart of Oh culture, my god, bitch. Sekiro has the best graphics of a FromSoft game to date, and a more varied array of bosses than even Dark Souls. In Sekiro, it's just you, your sword, and your prosthetic arm, and mastering them to beat the game is a thrill like no other. That'd be sad. Get some get some wiki weave going. Shit. Continue, be sure to subscribe to our Best channel game of 2020. I didn't play any new games yet this year. Videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos. Literally, the newest game I've played if was probably Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. 2020. Cyberpunk 2077. You've See, I don't think that's a fair statement. And uh, hear me out on that. The reason why I say that is because that game only been out for a few weeks. Okay. Like twenty twenty was finally the year we got our hands on CD Projekt Red's most hotly anticipated game. Despite a good number of glitches contained in the launch version. Exactly. Like they don't. They don't. Seven has no doubt wowed us. Whatever. I'm gonna shut my motherfucking mouth. And story, all of which take place in the incredibly immersive Night City. All right. Yeah, I got the gist of it. Anyways, though, uh, if y'all like this video, let me know. If y'all want to do more kind of videos like this, more kind of videos, more videos like this, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Um, if not, if y'all don't like the video, shit. Uh, anyways, y'all have a good day, and God bless you.